Hello and welcome to our video on phases of bacterial growth curve. Upon inoculation into a new nutrient medium, bacteria shows four distinct phases of growth. Lag phase, log or exponential growth phase, stationary phase, that are logarithmic decline phase. Let's see one by one. So first, about lag phase. So it is the period of adjustment to new conditions. Here no cell division occurs and population size doesn't increase. But the cells are physiologically very active and synthesize new protoplasm. It may last from one hour to several days. Cell metabolizing, so lag in cell division. And next, log or exponential phase. It is the period of most rapid growth. Number of cells produced is greater than number of cells dying. Cells are at highest metabolic activity and these cells are most susceptible to adverse environmental factors at this stage that is radiation and antibiotics. And next, stationary phase. Here, the number of cells produced is equal to number of cells dying. Cell division begins to slow down. Factors that slow down the microbial growth are accumulation of toxic waste materials, acidic pH of media, limited nutrients, insufficient oxygen supply. And next, death or decline phase. Here the population size begins to decrease. So, number of cells dying is greater than number of cells produced. Cell number decreases at a logarithmic rate. Viable cells decrease inverse of log. So here, nutrient depletion, accumulation of inhibitory products have uh, happened. Then, cells lost their ability to divide. And next, the characteristics of a growth of unicellular microbial culture in each phase of typical growth curve. That is, first in lag phase, the growth rate is zero. So coming to the characteristics, here no increase in cell number and individual cells increase in size and cells physiologically active and synthesize new enzymes to adapt to new environment. And next, exponential or log phase. Here the growth rate is maximal and constant. So coming to characteristics, the condition of balanced growth. Cells most nearly uniform in terms of chemical composition and metabolic and physiological activities and peak time of physiological activity and efficiency. And next, stationary phase. So here, the growth rate is zero. And coming to characteristics, accumulation of toxic metabolic products or exertion of nutrients. Some cells die while others grow and divide. So the number of fibrous cells level off. And next about death phase. Here the growth rate is negative and characteristics here the accumulation of inhibitory metabolic products and depletion of essential nutrients, the death rate accelerates and number of viable cells decreases exponentially. Depending on species, very few living cells may persist into a tail of a curve, forming what may be called senescent phase. Then typically, all cells normally die within the days two months. So, if you have any doubt, please ask unto the comment section. For more videos, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.